morning everybody. Welcome back to Rusty Rice Gravel and another episode. Today we are in Comrie Croft. We're not doing the mountain bike trails though. Although maybe actually, that could be fun. <laughs> but no, no we're not. We're here today on a sunny, but a little bit chilly morning. So we're doing a 45 kilometer loop from here at Comrie Croft, down to the River Urn, past Creef and the Glen Turret Distillery. Then we head up Glen Turret towards Loch Turret Reservoir and take to the hills alongside and then head to Ochnafri Hill. From there we drop into Glen Turret again and explore alongside the reservoir before winding our way back down to Fordy Lodge and back to Comrie Croft. Right, I need to get warm so let's get going. I don't know what I'm expecting from the hills beside Glen Turret. I noticed there were some kind of tracks that went up the side there. They looked like they should be rideable, but I've not explored them before. So this may be a thousand meters of just pushing a bike up a hill, which doesn't sound very fun at all. Or it could be awesome. Just don't know yet. Slight miscalculation there. Took the high road, should have taken the low road. I ended up on, it looks like an old railway line, but it was a bit knobbly. I had to walk a few bits. But it's pretty nice in these woods actually, this riverside path. Bike update. So it's two days since I did the Killin ride. Um, and I think I've broken something on the front of my bike. My front wheel now is incredibly wobbly. I say incredibly, like more wobbly than I think it should be. But yeah, it's rattling away like no man's business. Feels like it's loose on the hub, but the through axle's tight. So it's like the wheel itself over the hub is loose. Uh, never experienced that before. Let's hope it makes the ride. So I think we've got a good four and a bit K of just cycling up this Glen Road before we hit the gravel again. I'm quite a fan of doing climbing on the roads and descending on the gravel. I think that's the best way to do it. Climbing on the gravel can get a bit tiresome. That's a great view over the valley. We were down there just now. Credit to that track. I binned it off because well, when I looked at it on Strava on the heat maps, it didn't seem to be as well ridden. So I thought there might be something wrong with it. Actually, it's a lovely track. Climb up the road and then scoot along the track. I think my plan B was coming up down there somewhere. Who knows? But I'm happy with the choice I made. We're now up on the hills. It's very windy again. And we're going up there. Join me pushing up the bit of this hill. Whew. 
that's quite steep. The legs are just burnt up, got nothing left. Just takes one bad bounce on the gravel and you spin or you slip and all your momentum's gone. And then just trying to get going again is just so impossible. Whew. But we'll take on this last little bit and then see what we got when we get up to the top of it. I mean, I don't know why they have these tracks, but I'm very grateful that they do. Oh, wow. It's really important to have a decent shoe, I think, when you're doing stuff like this. Well, the ones I've got, I've got a nice rugged sole, so I get plenty of grip over the cleats when I'm in the stuff like this. But you don't want to be falling out of your shoe or slipping everywhere when you're on stuff like this. Oh wow, that, that climb was just daft. <laughs> oh, there's no way I was going to cycle up that. Not at all. But we made it, I think. Steepest bit done. Fantastic views. A bit hazy though, but pretty good. I mean, if you look down there, that's where we turned left off the low track and then we came all the way up up there. Pretty good. I think once we go around this bit of a corner, we'll start getting views over, over the reservoir. That'd be nice. Oh, I mean, look at this. Isn't this fantastic? Just imagine the drone shot just over my right shoulder as we cycle along here. Wouldn't that look so cool? I need to get a drone. That was me being let down by my bald tire there. Wasn't too bad a bit of a climb, but it got a bit wet and slippy and the old tire couldn't handle it. I think we're heading for that trig point. Or that cairn. Don't know how I'm getting up there, <laughs> or even if it's a good idea. But let's go and find out. Feels like all I've been doing is going uphill all day. <laughs> Never ending climb this route so far. Pushing again. <laughs> oh. I'll take this opportunity to beg for some charity or support if you feel like it. Pop along to buymeacoffee.com pop a few quid towards the channel. That really helps motivate when I'm doing stuff like this. Just pushing up impossible hills. Ah. I mean, thank you to all the guys who've already bought me a coffee and supported the channel. It does make a massive difference, especially on days like this, when it was a struggle to come out anyway. And this hill is a struggle, <laughs> knowing that I've got a bit of support does make the difference and if you want to make it a bit more permanent you could do like a monthly sub and stuff like that as well so no pressure but subscribe buy me a coffee and I'll see you at the top of this hill amazing. <laughs> oh, this is where I need a dropper post. I feel like I'm about to fly over the handlebars. Rear wheel is just skidding its way down the hill. Front wheel's barely holding on. And I've got my eyes closed. 
<laughs> so we're still plodding along the ridge alongside of Glen Turret. Still a bit of snow hanging about, kind of gets in the way. <laughs> Makes it a bit more interesting. Whew. Hopefully, not much further to go before we can start doing some downhill because I am wrecked. So, we're just engaging in a little bit of bog trotting, not too much, but just enough to remind you that you're up on the moors. Okay, that's the summit, or well, this one, and that one, been to both, filming at this one, it's very windy up here, and good views, good mountain views, I was hoping to get a bit more of the reservoir from up here, but that wasn't to be, you can see back there though, just on that ridge line, that's where we came from, all the way over there. So now I think we just go down, down to the reservoir, into the headwind, and find our way back to Comrie Croft. Look at this up here. So remote feeling. Ah, invigorating, excellent. Right, I'll shut up, let's go. how much I'd want to climb up this hill. I think going down is definitely the way to do this bit. the side of the reservoir here. What's it like? Well, it's slow, it's not the smoothest, also it's not the worst. <laughs> so, a bit uppy, a bit downy, a bit bumpy, but perfectly doable on a gravel bike. And awesome, awesome views. What does that flag mean? I hope it's not a bad thing. So here we are at the, at the head of the reservoir, at the dam. We've made it all the way around the hills and all the way back along the edge. That was a bit of an adventure, that one, but a fun adventure. Now, we're just gonna scoot around the edge of those hills, I think, and see what that bit has. It's been a good day, good weather. Quite windy though, but a good day. Still stinking. This is a lovely trail to descend on. Big fan of this. This is excellent. Oh, nice. So if you don't fancy the extreme cycle route around the edge of Loch Turret there, 
you could probably just go up the road to the reservoir, scoot along the, the embankment and then come back down this. Because this is lovely. But that's quite a nasty looking hill. Straight ahead. Not sure I remember signing up to that. I feel like I should apologise for the lack of camera angles. I just haven't got the energy to keep stopping and starting. It takes so long to do. But I'm just feeling like I just want to get to the end. It's been a tough few days. But hopefully I've still got decent enough footage from lazy cameraing. <laughs> Let's hope so. the red marks back the red marks of doom I'm taking my under hat off so this this descending is lovely really really nice one thing I would say which I sometimes forget to do is when you're doing this it gets quite fast so make sure you're looking ahead like way ahead and not just in front of your wheel because there's quite often a few surprises that can come through sudden drops sudden rocks deep puddles Stuff like that. So just make sure you've got your eyes plenty forwards for the speed you're doing. Right then, more. Here we are, 42 kilometers done. Round Glen Torrent. Highlight, I think, for me was the descent from Glen Torrent Reservoir, actually. Not the bit around the top of the mountain, but that bit coming down was lovely. Really enjoyed that. Really recommend it. So I think that'll do us. Um, like, comment, subscribe, buy coffees, suggest routes, do the things. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching everyone.